now I'm going to do some slide cutting for you. I'm doing it on dry hair because I really want to see what's going to be happening to the haircut while I'm doing it. I'm going to take it, I want to kind of shore it up in here. And I'm going to uh, continue to want to hug that neck so I'm sliding it so this is shorter and it will push that inward. I'm going to take five half inch sections, find my guide for my previous cup. This is going to give a lot of texture to the hair as well as shape to the hair. I'm using the Benica Rose Shear. Love this little shear because it's very sharp and it slides very easily down the hair shaft. Dry or wet hair. This is taking a very ordinary bob haircut into today. Taking a lot of the bulk out and giving it a, a little bit more sexy feel to it. Using my rose shear, I'm sliding it from the middle of the hair shaft. I'm using the middle of the scissor, not, not the real wide open part and not the tip, but the middle of the scissor. And that's where it's sharp. I'm not, I'm just sliding it, manipulating my thumb finger just ever so slightly. And pushing the scissor down through the hair. Watch it again. I want you to be aware that you need to have a sharp pair of scissors doing this technique because if you don't, it will hurt the client for one thing and for another thing it will give you split ends. You need something that will just slide and glide through. Now you can see taken the bulk out of this and it's hugging her neckline. If I blew this dry now, really uh, put a bump in with my round brush and my blow dryer, it would really give shape to this haircut and coming close at the knee.